You're watching Footy on Nine as we continue with our previews into AFL season 2020. Joining me now is the chief football writer of the Age newspaper in Jake Nile. Really looking forward to uh, your thoughts on this club, Carlton, because they gave us a fair bit of excitement, even for non-Carlton fans, uh, towards the back end of last year. Well, they had the Teague train and, mm. you know, they got a lot of momentum late in the year after Brendan Bolton was sacked and they put in David Teague. And like uh, Reece Shaw, they regenerated very quickly and the supporters jumped on board and before we knew it, they were people who hadn't been seen at the footy for a while were coming back in big numbers, Tony. And indeed they will this season because uh, when you look at the ins and outs of the Carlton Football Club, there's uh, one name there that jumps out. Eddie Betts, yeah. yeah well, he's the fans love him and... Look, he'll, he'll, he'll help, and he'll particularly help the young Indigenous players. They've got him there really more culturally, and I think with a touch of marketing, Tony, um, rather than just... He's not obviously going to be there for very long as a player, maybe just this year, but he'll kick a few goals and he'll excite the fans and he'll help some of the younger players, of which is most of their list. Well, we saw him in that practice match against Collingwood and it was all about Eddie, wasn't it? Right. And it normally is when it comes to Carlton and Collingwood, but it was a different Eddie this time. Who else is on your list that takes your fancy? Um, well, I've got Jack Martin from the Suns and, and that's a very big ticket item. I mean, he's on a massive contract to get him there because they had to get him through the draft, uh, at least in the first couple of years, and then it's it's very front-loaded deal, about a million dollars the first year and then it trails right off. Uh, yeah, so they brought in him and they got in Mark Pitney from the Hawks as a ruckman. That, that was a very interesting acquisition and they let, um, they let Andrew Phillips go to Essendon. It was sort of like a swap of ruckmen who weren't getting full opportunities. Uh, and of course, that's his insurance for um, Matthew Cruiser, who gets injured quite a lot. What about Sam Doherty, the forgotten man of the Carlton Footy Club? Not by Carlton fans, of course, but so important to have him back. Yeah, and I, and I actually went to the, see some of the practice match against the Pies and he looked very good. He, he, he was running around beautifully um, and there was no sign of any issue with his knee, of course, having done it twice in a row. So just touch wood, he can stand up. If he does stand up, it'll stabilise that back line enormously, which has been, I think, one of the weaker points, Tony. Their back line has not been as strong as most clubs. You mentioned David Teague a little earlier, and it was all about David Teague in the back half when he took over from uh, Brendan Bolton. Uh, he's proved that he can coach, but the honeymoon's over now, isn't it? I don't think there's such a thing as a honeymoon at the Carlton Football Club. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you're a coach, they, they, they mark them very hard down there. And what, Dennis Pagan didn't have a honeymoon? Oh, he got, a, <laughs> he got five minutes of sunshine, I think. Um, no, it's, 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 a tough, it's a tough gig at Carlton because, you know, the expectations now are on Teague. To, I think... The pass mark this year, I'd say, is 10 wins. If he can win 10 games, he's done a good job. He may do a great job and they might only win seven or eight, but they've won seven last year, most of them in the back end under Teague. So I think the supporters are, are up and about and they actually think they're going to be storming to the flag within the next few years. Well, you never know, do you? I mean, when you've got, well, a, got, when you've got a team built around Patrick Cripps in many ways, they've got to be a chance, don't well, they? Well, Patrick Cripps is close to the best player in the competition. Yeah. I, I, if there's a better player, it might only be, in my view, Dustin Martin, possibly Nat Fife. He's, he is right in there. Is, I, I believe he's as good a player as any in the game. Uh, his ability to extract the ball. Charlie Curnow, if Charlie Curnow can get back at a reasonable time of year and play, that would make a massive difference. He's now starting to become accident prone and injury prone. If he can get back and play in that forward line, that would make a huge difference. Harry McKay is a player that they can kick to. He's got the 200 centimetre um, you know, wingspan and he can really mark the ball. He needs to improve quite, quite significantly though. Anyone who pulls on that famous jumper is under the pump, but who is under more pressure than anyone else this year? Oh, I'd say it's Jack Martin because he's come over from another club uh, chosen not to play for the Suns, uh, seemingly was a bit disaffected there, come on the big price tag, he's got a lot of ability um, and he'll be, as all high-priced high recruits, uh, in time, time and at Carlton they've had a lot of them, you come in and they expect a lot, so I'd say him. And the big improver? Uh, I think it'll be Sam Petrovsky seaton he's teased a bit but he's never put it together, I think this is the year where we might actually see him do it. Now, the competition desperately needs Carlton playing in the finals. Is it going to be 2020? No, it won't be this year, I don't believe, Tony, but I think they can go close to winning. I think they'll win nine or ten games. If they win ten, that's a pass mark. Um, they might even win 11, but I don't think they'll make the eight. No, I've got them sort of, you know, in that, in, in that sort of 12, 13, 14 sort of bracket. 
Right, OK, so there's still a bit of work to do for the Carlton Footy Club. Jake Noel, the Chief Football Writer of the Age newspaper, joining us. Uh, for all the previews, and they are fascinating, with Jake, Matthew Lloyd and Matthew Brown, uh, Nathan Brown, just log on to Nine Now, check them all out one by one. And for all the news, wwos.com.au. See you next time.